guys welcome back to my channel i'm sorry for no intro today you guys but i had to get straight into it i was literally leaving town in like a few hours and i was determined to wear this wig i'm like no i could just wear a wig that i have and i'm like no 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 i gotta be this one i like this one so first of all look at how i plucked and bleached this wig put some respect on my name do you guys see that i did that i think this is the best plucking and bleaching job I've done in a long time and I did switch up my techniques I did some new things which we'll get into in a second you guys did say you wanted the how I prep my wigs video so that will be coming soon but baby I did that so I'm gonna go straight to the installation process which you guys know consists of me cleaning my hairline using my even spray that's it I use two products typically and I call it a day I don't like the ball cap method I've got asked why I just don't I think it's like unnecessary because my wig is still looking very much laid in my opinion and I think glue is just very messy and makes my forehead feel a little raw sometimes so I don't like that um, so I just stick to my even spray and that's it So for those of you guys who watch me all the time, I always tell you guys how I want this certain kind of look, this certain kind of curl, and I feel like I can't get it. This time I got it. I got it right. I've been doing my research and I've been seeing how to achieve these curls as far as like cutting, layering, what um, curling irons to use, how to comb my hair out, all that. So I got that down packed in this video and I was so happy. And especially with this color, it was perfect for that because you can really see the curls and the waves and it just was, Ugh, stunning. So I'm gonna speed through this because the concept is pretty much the same that I always do. The only difference is I use a huge curling iron this time. Um, this is the Babyliss Pro. I wanna say like two inch, don't quote me. I would definitely, or like one and three fourths inch. I don't know, it's a big barrel. But this is the curler that I should have been using to achieve the curls that I wanted. And another key to getting this look is also layering your hair. It's very important because it kind of takes off a lot of bulkiness off the hair and cutting the ends blunt. So when you do that and kind of do that motion that you guys saw me doing earlier um, and thinning out the hair, it just helps the curls lay a certain way. It's not even a curl really, it's more like a big wave. It just looks so sleek and professional. And let me add, the quality of this hair Oh my gosh, it was just so bouncy and just so like, mm, it just felt so good. The quality, 10 out of 10. I just loved this hair. I loved the coloring. I loved everything about it, you guys. This is perfect out of town hair because I literally was like, I want something a little different, but not too much. And it just gave. It literally gave, okay? So um, I was kind of having a hard time with the with my baby hairs. I don't know what I was doing this day. It wasn't the lace, because as you can see, the lace is laid, but some days I just overthink things and then like screw myself over, but it ended up working out. But I didn't want like crazy baby hairs, so I was just like overthinking it. But baby, when I tell you I kept hot combing this front toe, I'm like, you are gonna be late. Do you see how flat that is? Do y'all see how flat? Okay, okay.
it's a chicken salad. <laughs> That's how good this install was, you guys. I am just so glad I finally was able to achieve the style that I've been going for. If you guys have been watching me, you guys have been hearing me say like, I want to achieve these curls and I can't, I can't. This is the look that I was going for. Just very sleek, very professional. Um, still looks very like, you know, it still has body, but it's not too curled and it's not too limp. It looks great. So make sure you guys check out Mega Look Hair. I will leave all the information down in the description box for this wig. I really think you're gonna like this one. The hair quality was definitely a 10 out of 10. The lace was 10 out of 10. It was great. So again, check the description box, get this wig. Great for the fall, you know, with the browns and stuff. Great for the summer, for, with the blondes. It's just very versatile and it looks good. Straight, curled, whatever style you want to do, it's going to look great. Um, I unfortunately did not get like a look for you guys because again, I was going out of town, but I do have a clip at the end of me with my makeup on and stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.